eight facts you didn't know about Austrian VAT. When you're ready to expand your business to Austria, navigating the country's VAT system can be quite a challenge. Don't let it stop you from doing business in the country. Here are eight surprising facts you should know about Austrian VAT. First one on the list is VAT or VAT rates vary. As a member state of the European Union, the EU, Austria follows the EU's directives on VAT. It is free to set the standard or operate as long as it is not less than 15%. The country's VAT currently stands at 20% applicable to most goods and services, but it was temporarily reduced during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, not all areas in Austria follow the standard rate. In the town of Jungles or Mittelberg municipality, their consumption tax is lower at 19% since they are located in the German region or remain under Austria's jurisdiction. Like most countries, Austria has a tiered VAT system. It has reduced rates of 13% and 10% for certain products and services, but also applies a zero rate and exempts specific services from VAT. Because of the different VAT rates, knowing the correct one to apply can be tricky. You are liable for the uncollected difference when you charge the wrong rate, not your customer. Avoid such cost by consulting an accountant or tax advisor specializing in Austrian taxation. A professional form Sterling's Global assists you. Number two fact. There is no need to set up a local company. Non-resident businesses may register for Austrian VAT without establishing a local company. This simplifies declaring and collecting taxes from transacting parties, especially overseas enterprises. To be VAT registered in Austria, you must submit the duly accomplished registration form to the Graz Stat Tax Office along with the following documents. A copy of the Article of Association, an extract from the Business Trade Registration, VAT certificate if registered in other EU member states, proof of economic activity in the country. You can download the VAT registration form from the following Ministry of Finance website. Once registered, you will receive a unique nine character ID, starting with a U and followed by a string of eight digits. A fiscal representative is required. When registering for Austrian VAT, non-EU companies must have fiscal representation to do so. They should appoint a local agent such as an accountant or tax advisor to facilitate the registration on their behalf. In this case, you also have to execute a power of attorney. Besides registering, the appointed fiscal agent will manage your VAT obligations and handle relations with tax authorities in Austria. That's why some fiscal representatives ask for a deposit like a bank guarantee to ensure a smooth working relationship. Fourth thing you should know, mind the lower thresholds for e-commerce. The EU's VAT system, including Austria's was outdated to keep pace with the steady growth of online retail, which was further accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic. To ensure that VAT due on these sales are collected and paid to the proper tax authorities, the European Commission issued revised VAT rules on cross-border e-commerce sales, beginning 1st July 2021, the country-specific turnover threshold for VAT registration was abolished and replaced with an EU-wide floor of 10,000 euro. 
If you are a non-EU online seller with Austrian buyer, register for VAT at the onset in anticipation of annual sales exceeding the limit. Moreover, all goods imported into Austria and other EU countries are subject to VAT. The tax exemption was abolished to prevent abuse from sellers outside the EU. They often understand the value of goods sold to less than 22 euro to avoid taxation. You only need to register in one EU member state. Another significant reform with the revised rules is that e-commerce businesses can register in only one EU member state but can declare and pay VAT from customers as long as they are within the EU. For example, if you obtain an Austrian VAT tax number, you may use it to settle collected VAT from your cross-border online sales in Belgium or Cyprus. You don't have to be VAT registered for each country you sell to. The rationale behind streamlining registration is to simplify doing business in the EU and minimize fraud by reducing red tape. Also, it aims to improve VAT payments by overcoming barriers through digital technology. So, number six is IOSS simplifies VAT declaration and collection for distance sales. The import one-stop shop, which is called IOSS, was another measure introduced to ease VAT collection on online sales from third territories or non-EU countries like the UK. IOSS is a web platform for imported items valued at $150 or less. Thanks to the electronic portal, you don't have to keep track of the uh, different standard VAT rates in every country. While the IOSS offers convenience to entrepreneurs like yourselves, it doesn't eliminate the fact you still have obligations to meet as VAT registered. Seventh fact. As VAT registered, you have obligations. When registered for Austrian VAT, your primary responsibility is filling periodic returns on covered transactions. The frequency, however, depends on the previous year's annual turnover. You must file preliminary returns monthly if you recorded yearly sales of more than 100,000 euro. On the other hand, businesses with turnover below 100,000 euro may submit VAT returns quarterly. Returns must be filed electronically by the 15th of the second calendar month following covered tax period. It is also the VAT payment due date. For example, the tax charge for June should be settled on 15th of August and the corresponding return should be filed no later than 15th of August. You are obliged to file VAT returns via Austria's electronic portal, which is called Finance Online. If you are unable to do due to lacking technological resources, you may submit using the official form U30. When filing returns through a tax representative from Sterling's Global, which is ourselves, the requirements relating to them will apply. VAT compliance can be complicated. Complying with Austrian VAT legislation is never a straightforward matter. There are instances when reforms are implemented and keeping track of the changes that apply to your business can be confusing. Non-compliance such as the VAT return filings or incorrectly declared transactions results in the following penalties. Late payment, 2% of the VAT payable. Late filing, 10% of the VAT due. EU member states often have different deadlines for paying VAT due and filing corresponding returns. When it gets confusing as you trade with the EU 
countries, it's recommended to work with a tax advisor or an accountant. So these are the facts that I wanted you to know about Austrian VAT. Number one, can I compute the Austrian VAT due by myself? Yes, you can if you are familiar with how to derive it. However, it is advisable to leave the estimation of VAT due to a local accountant or tax specialist. Doing so minimizes errors, including incorrect figures, rates and transactions that might result in fines or penalties. When do I register for Austrian VAT? Ideally, you should file your application to be VAT registered in Austria before commencing business activities in the country. If you register late, you may be subject to financial penalties, avoid such pitfalls by consulting with a professional from Sterling's Global. How long does VAT registration in Austria take? After submitting your application and pertinent documents through a fiscal representative, the processing takes several weeks or a month to receive your VAT number. You can only begin business activities once you have a unique VAT identification number for charging consumption tax. Tapping into the Austrian market can be an excellent growth opportunity for your business. However, venturing into it without knowing crucial information about its VAT system won't always work in your favor. Don't let it blindside you and instead let this eight facts guide you while working with a qualified local accountant like ourselves from sterling's global so yes guys uh, thank you for hanging by and thanks for watching our video if you want to learn more please like follow and subscribe to our youtube channel and catch you on the next one all the best and have a nice day ahead bye bye now